I think uh, right after I got back from the hospital and stuff, I figured I wanted to, you know, do something to remember the guys and keep them close to me. So I thought of the idea, talked with Mike a little bit, and he came up with uh, a lot of good ideas. You can't obviously dwell on it, but you got to be mindful of it and, you know, kind of use it as motivation and uh, in memory of them. So, uh, you know, it's it's not a bad thing that I'm doing this. And, you know, obviously he said the yearly thing, people don't want to remember, but it happens so you got to do something about it. I decided I wanted the, their numbers and our, our coach's quote on my arm somewhere. It's a great day to be a Bronco gentleman. And Mike added the feathers and, and the cross and my nickname. So I think that's all part of hockey growing up. That was my nickname. And, uh, you know, it's just good memories, I think, and keeping it close to me. It's, you know, kind of what we lived by and, you know, Darcy was probably one of the greatest coach we, coaches we've all had and, you know, we wanted to have that quote stuck with us. It kind of happened. I, I saw Ryan in the hospital in, in Saskatoon a couple weeks after the accident happened and met him and stuff like that and then uh, he said he wanted to get a tattoo at one point and then uh, once he was at the hospital, been talking more and stuff and just kind of grew from there. He brought all the ideas. I went and met him and he said, okay, I want a wing coming down my arm and then his number on top of it and then somehow... He wanted some flying pucks around it with the numbers on, but I think because it was a big wing, we didn't want to have you know, 13 different pairs of wing kind of things. So I said, I'm going to just do a puck coming out from behind. And he really wanted the, the quote from the coach, which was amazing, and a cross kind of thing. So he just kind of gave me all that, and I just drew it up, and he liked it from, from day one, and we went from there. And it was just after the accident, and on the Saturday, I, I think I worked the Saturday, we had like five or six people came in and got Broncos tattoos. Yeah, the first time we went out, he fell quite a few times. He got bruised up, but he... Smiled the whole time, just got back up and kept going, and and every day was a noticeable difference. Every time he skated, it was just better and better. I got mine in June, I believe. June. He was still at R U H Hospital, so it would have been June, early June. I got mine. Yeah. And then after he seen it, once he come out of a coma, come become more aware, right? And then he said he wanted the same. So, so one day we went and did it. They had a very good slap shot. Yeah. His, uh, his one-timers were one of the best on the team, in the top few of the best of the team anyway. He's a very, very good. So He works so hard, progress is just steady, and that gives us a lot of strength. Yeah. It's hard work, right, man?